What's going on? Welcome back to another Veto Challenge video. I am your host, Cap. Another video of looking at all this sexiness right here. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos so far. Um, today I'm going to do part one, I guess, you call it, of who knows how many, of kind of the Q&A. You can get to know me, ask me some questions, you know, not just, what capture card do you use and what do you use to render, you know, because those questions I get all the time, but questions about me, if you want to get to know me. I have just the first question today, and if you have any others, ask me on Twitter or ask me on, you know, in the comment section below, and I'll do another video to follow up. But the question I got this time was, what is my end goal with YouTube and Twitch with streaming? I'll start with YouTube, since that's the medium in which we're doing our current video. So my end goal with YouTube, that's kind of a tough one because I don't know anymore. My goal on YouTube's always been to continue to grow, to get more active followers, to get more... Uh, it has nothing to do with like the amount of money made on videos and stuff because it's really not that much. It's more or less a, a good act of following to continue to grow, to get you know more subscribers so that the videos do better and better over time, to get you know more comments and more likes per video, and just you know the concept of growing there. So I always had a goal of like, oh, it would be nice to hit 50,000 or 100,000 or you know the elusive million. I mean, I'd love to get a framed play button for hitting 100,000, but I don't honestly know if that'll ever happen. So, I mean, that was always the end goal with YouTube, is to continue to grow and stuff like that. But, honestly, the way things have gone, like in the last year or so on my channel, I would be okay with having a goal of just getting some of my existing subscribers to come back. And that sounds like a, a weird thing or whatever like that, but right now, if you look at just the, the view stats, I guess, for my entire channel for this year, 2015, um, if you look at total number of views, it's like, eh, that's not too bad, but it's all like, you know, the viral videos from a long time ago, the videos that still get a lot of views every month. And so that's where those views are coming from, not the newer videos from the last three years, basically. And out of all of those views that have come in over there, only like 98% of those are from non-subscribers, which means out of every view my video had, my channel has for the last year, only 2% of that has come from viewers that are actually subscribed and that's uh i don't know that's really disheartening i guess because it just means i have a lot of people subscribing that don't actually want to watch the video you know new videos don't do very good there's not much interaction in the comment section there's the likes are down it's just overall not as good as it used to be so if i was going to post a new goal for youtube it would be i would love it if i could just get 10 percent just 10% of my existing subscribers to show up and watch each video. You know, that's what, 3,200? That's not that many out of 32,000. And if only 1% of those people, you know, liked and left a comment, that's 320. Oh my God, I'd be so happy if I got a video with 100 likes on it and 320 views or 3,200 views or whatever like that. That that would just be awesome. I would be okay with that. That would. I would be fine staying with that and not ever worry about getting to 100,000 subscribers, honestly. Now, when it comes to Twitch, because I don't get to stream as often and my time frame in which I stream in the later in the evenings, I realize I'm never going to have as big of a captive audience as I possibly could if I was streaming, you know, around noon, lunchtime, early in the afternoon, the key times when people are home and kind of watching videos and stuff. I don't have that lifestyle. I can't do it. So I realize that I'll never have a huge following on Twitch. So I guess my end goal on Twitch would eventually be to get big enough to where maybe I could get partnered. I mean, that would be kind of cool to be able to have that subscribe button on there. Honestly, as long as I had a decent number of followers, I would say, let's say we'll set a realistic goal for Twitch. It would be cool if I could get consistently 30 viewers during a stream. Um, right now, I average anywhere between 5 and 15, depending on what I'm streaming and time and all that other stuff. So, it would be cool to have 30. We'll just stay with 30 there. So, that we'll set the goals a little bit lower on that one than we will for YouTube, since we've already had some success on YouTube. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope that actually made any sense to you guys at all. So, yeah, if you have any other questions for me, I'll happily do another Q&A. If you want to get to know me, you can ask personal questions if you want to know things about me. But, you know, too personal, of course, and I'm not going to answer them. So, anyway, thank you guys for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a good one, and I'll catch you later.